Well, Dave, it's not uncommon to see a dress code sign as you walk into a bar or a sports bar, but one that says no ghetto gear, well, that is now raising some eyebrows and people are calling it unacceptable. I'm afraid. I don't like going into places and seeing that. It, it felt like a, a modern day um, no colored sign to me. It's a dress code sign posted as you walk into CJ's upper deck in Waterford. The person who took this picture posted it to Facebook and it's now been shared more than 2,000 times. They didn't want to show their face out of fear. I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel wanted. Um, and honestly, I, I was a little offended by that. I'm very offended by that sign. The sign says what you are and aren't permitted to wear inside. But one thing caught this patron by surprise. The part that says no large logos, i.e. South Pole, FUBU, ghetto gear, etc. I asked the security guard, like, what, what is ghetto gear? He couldn't give me an answer. So my whole thing was, okay, if you're monitoring for ghetto gear, <laughs> You don't know what you're looking for. We reached out to management at CJ's. They tell me that they have a responsibility to take care of their patrons at the bar. They say the sign will be taken down. And when you're adding South Pole, FUBU, which are black owned brands <laughs> to the mix and then saying dash no ghetto gear or pants must be pulled up dash no ghetto gear. That's that's offensive. For now, this patron says they won't be going back to the restaurant and hopes that the sign will be reworded. As a business, there is a way that you you can relay that information you say no streetwear um ghetto gear is definitely not an appropriate term to use and as this package was actually just airing i did receive a statement from the owner at cj's upper deck i'm going to read it to you in part here it says a picture of our dress code has surfaced online and we would like to inform everyone that it has been updated no sleeveless shirts pants and shorts must be at waist level Thank you for addressing our age dress code. We hope everyone finds this fitable and suitable for everyone while maintaining a fun and inviting atmosphere. To all of our patrons and regulars, we would like to say thank you for your support. So again, the owner is now reaching back out to us and saying that that sign will be taken down, but they do have a responsibility to protect all the patrons who do attend the bar at night. Reporting live, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.